How do you grow your music artist email list so that you get more fans and more sales? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. Hi, I'm Regan Ram with OrpheusAudioAcademy.com, helping you make better music and grow your fan base online. And if you don't already know, having an email list is so foundational to success in any business, especially growing a music business. And this is because, you know, you might think that sounds a little crazy and I've done a lot of other videos on this. So I'll, um, somewhere up here. So I'll actually put up a card that links to a video that goes more in depth on why music artists want to have an email list. But in short, you want to have an email list because people are much more likely to see what you send them and much more likely to actually engage and actually buy from you through email than social media or any other platform. Just a quick stat here by Optin Monster. Social media's overall engagement rate is 0.58% for Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So, so let's say you have like a thousand followers. <laughs> Only like 50 people are gonna see anything you post if you're lucky. That's if what you're posting is really good and these platform actually, actually decide to show them to people. Whereas with email, the average open rate across all industries, and this should probably actually be higher for music artists, is 22.86%. That's just the open rate, but then the average click-through rate is 3.71. So actually 3.71% of people are actually clicking through, whether that's to say a sales page, to buy some merch from you or buy your album, right? So people are engaging more with email. They're more actually likely to take action. Also, everyone sees it, right? Even if they don't open your email, they're seeing your email in their inbox because like 90% of people in the US have an email address where, you know, you might say, oh, Facebook, 2 billion people. Well, I think there's like 4 billion people in the world that have email, double that. Email is so overlooked, but it's really the foundation for success in any business, especially music. With that in mind, how do you grow an email list as a music artist? Step number one is to offer something of value in exchange for an email address. So we can call this a fan magnet. It's something that just attracts those fans to you that makes them want to give you their email address so they can get on your email list. So what really works, what's worked for me is just giving away free music. Right, so you can be creative. You can maybe think of other things, uh, maybe running a giveaway for something that you think fans of your music would also be interested in. But really foundational is just giving away a free song or several songs. Right, so on my band website, right there at the top, people can opt in for five free songs from me over the course of five days. And so the reason I do that is because I'm able to continue to build the relationship with those fans over time. This is all automated, right? So someone signs up, immediately they get an email from me with the song. I give them a little background about the song and I include the lyrics and then there's a link for them to listen to the song or download the song for free. And then the next day I can send them another email and I'm continuing giving them more information about me, about our band, because it's not just me, it's me and my wife. Um, and again, more information about the song. So they're going to not only hear more music from us, but they're also going to know us too is just personally on a personal level. And so that builds that connection. It builds that no like and trust factor, which is key to generating sales in any industry. It's that no like and trust factor. And so right by the end of the five days, after that's up, I can then send another email to them automatically that says, hey, if you enjoyed this music, then go ahead and check out the full album. And then so from there, it's just a numbers game of, you know, get a bunch of people into your email list that go through this automated system and a certain percentage are then going to buy from you, whether that's your music or your merch or whatever you're offering, right? A lot of people expect music to be free, so maybe not as many people would, would pay for music, but that depends on your niche as well, like, or your genre, like certain genres, people are more likely to buy, actual, actually buy music than other people, especially physical music, like if it's a CD or vinyl or even a tape cassette, those are coming back in, especially right? Like in like the synthwave genre that I'm in, because that was big in the eighties, right? Synthwave is kind of based on the eighties pop culture. And that's what you had back then were tape cassettes or cassette tapes. So that's what you want. Number one to grow your email list is you want some kind of fan magnet, something of value. Don't just say, Hey, sign up for my newsletter because nobody wants to be added to another newsletter. They want to be, they want to get something as value that's valuable. So I wouldn't even call it a newsletter either. I would say 
uh, maybe like your VIP pass or behind the scenes group or something. So make it make it sound like an exclusive group because it is right. It's not public. What you're going to be emailing to your list isn't public. It's going to be exclusive content. So that's a little bit of a separate topic is what do you email your list? But um, kind of that's a, a quick tip is just email. You want to email them, you know, more behind the scenes stuff, more updates about you. So they're, they're kind of more in the inner circle. But to actually initially get them to sign up, you want to offer something about like free music. Now, from a technical standpoint on how you set this up, this is actually really easy to do if you're using an email autoresponder tool like ConvertKit. That's what I use. And like I said, it's, it's free up to your first 1,000 subscribers. The only thing you can't do with the free plan is send out automated emails. So if that's something you want to do, then you can sign up. But it's actually pretty inexpensive compared to what else is out there. Now, why this is great is because that can let you create a page with a little opt-in form where people can put in their name, put in their email address, and then ConvertKit will actually automatically then send your free song to them, whether that's a link to Dropbox or you've just uploaded the song right there, it will deliver automatically your your reader, your fan magnet to your person that signed up. And there's a bunch of other one out there, other email autoresponder tools out there, so you don't have to use ConvertKit. That's just the one I use and recommend, especially since it's actually created with music artists and creative people in mind. Um, but whatever you do. But even if you don't use ConvertKit, you do need to use some sort of email autoresponder tool so that you are abiding by um, anti-spam laws because you can't just like get people on Gmail and just send out a mass email from, from Gmail. That's not how it works because people need to be able to unsubscribe if they choose to. So you need to use some kind of email autoresponder tool. There's a bunch out there, um, but I highly recommend checking out ConvertKit. And I have a link below if you want to sign up through my link to try out ConvertKit. And if you do sign up through my link, I would be happy to send you the emails I was talking about earlier that I send to my fans. So you can immediately kind of use those as a template to get started sending out your automated emails to your fans. All right, so those are the first two things you need. You need a fan magnet and then you need some kind of tool to deliver that magnet and to actually hold your email list. So you need an email autoresponder tool and I recommend ConvertKit. Now, the third step is then actually promoting this fan magnet, actually getting it in front of people so that they can actually sign up. And so obviously a big one is social media. That first comes to mind, right? If you're, that's where most artists are growing their following or trying to grow their following is on social media. So if you're on Instagram, definitely have a link to that in your bio to, to get people on your email list. And I would say, you know, maybe, you know, promote those free songs you know, maybe once a week or once every two weeks to try and really get incentivize people to join your email list. And maybe you change it up over time. Maybe it's not always those same songs. Maybe it's a different song. Maybe it's a demo of a song or an acoustic version of a song, or it could even be like a giveaway. You run a giveaway route so often. So you're getting people on your email list. That's so foundational. That's more important than growing your social media is growing your email list. And of course you also have like YouTube, right? It's kind of a social media, kind of a search engine is, so regularly, you know, up, uploading music, you know, if you're uploading music videos or lyric videos or vlogs, anything up there, have some kind of call to action in those videos to get people to join your email list, whether it's just in the description or at the end of your video, you have a little card or a little screen that says, hey, download this song for free, or if you like this, download a song for free in the description below, something like that, so that you are, again, telling people to, to sign up for your email list. All right, a second place you can promote your fan magnet is on your website, obviously. So if you, like I talked about on my website, I have a big call to action at the top. I also even have a tab for free music. Make it very clear where people can get your free songs and then of course sign up to get on your email list on your website. Of course, people finding your website are probably going to be people that are already fans unless you're utilizing content marketing and actually trying to grow your website um, through SEO or other means like that. So a third way then to grow your email list, and this is what I've had the most success with, is ads, specifically Facebook ads. So this is kind of an advanced um, tip, especially if you don't really have the budget or the know-how. Um, but if you do have somebody to spend on ads, then you can be very strategic with this. And so what I did was I just created a short little video montage with different you know video clips that um, would appeal, that I knew would appeal to my my target fans. So this is where it all starts, right? And understanding what your micro genre is and who your ideal fans are, your super fans. What what other things do they like? What other artists are they interested in? So you can create an ad with, you know, a little video with imagery that 
would appeal to them and stand out to them so you can catch their attention. And you have a little like 30 second clip of your song playing. And then in the description of the ad, I just said something along the lines of, hey, if you like this kind of music, then download this song for free by clicking below. Um, I created what is called a conversion ad inside of Facebook. And so what a conversion ad is, is it knows to target the people on Facebook that Facebook knows are the kinds of people that sign up for stuff that convert, in other words. So Facebook knows all this about people. They know how people use their, their platform. They know all this user behavior. You create this conversion ad and you wanna target again, people that you know are most likely to like your music. Say you create like fantasy inspired music. You might wanna target people that also like not only other bands that are similar to you, but maybe even bigger categories, like also like Lord of the Rings or Chronicles of Narnia or other fantasy shows. And so then you create this audience on Facebook of people that you know are the most likely to be interested in your music. And then you display that ad in front of them. And then a certain percentage of people are going to go and sign up then for your song. And I only had, I had a very small budget when I was doing this. Um, I haven't run any ads recently because my, actually my ad account has been shut down by Facebook and I'm still working to getting that back up. And it wasn't because of my music ads. I don't know why I got shut down. I got shut down when I wasn't even running any ads. Um, I think it might've been because I moved and the, the um, address on my credit card wasn't the same with where I was living or whatever. I don't know what it was. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, so don't worry about running the strategy and having it get your ad account shut down. Um, but that's what you can do. You can, you can run ads using this strategy. And when I was doing the best with it, and I only, probably experimented for a couple of months. Um, this is something I really want to get back into doing. Um, but I was getting it down to where I was getting a lead or a new person to sign up, right? A new fan for every $2. So every $2 I spent, someone signed up, which is actually pretty good, pretty good uh, conversion rate in the business world. My actually full-time job is in digital marketing and a good um, cost per lead is like four to $5. And so I was getting $2. Um, which I think was pretty good. Um, but I know other indie artists who actually have gotten that number down much lower. So that's my goal when I eventually get my account back, if I get my account back and I'm able to run ads again, is continuing to experiment with how I can improve that ad, improve targeting, improve the wording, and improve the video, whatever, so that I can drive down those costs so I can generate a lot of new email subscribers for a very low cost. And that is gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck. Cause those, those are people that are actually willing to give you their email address, right? Give you, give you their information to get something from you, to get your song, get your music. They'd like it enough to give you their email address. So that kind of, it's a little bit of a transaction going on there. And then, right, you can follow up with them, build that relationship. And so that when you have a new music, they can go listen to it, whether it's just on Spotify, right? You get an, kind of a people, an audience, that you can control and actually go send to listen to your music or when you're ready to promote your say patreon or um, a new merch item like a t-shirt say hey go buy it now you have a people that you can communicate with that are going to see everything you send them and aren't going to be blocked from seeing you like all these different social media platforms do to you all right so that is how you grow your email list as a music artist but as you probably figured out having an email list is only one part of the puzzle for growing an income, growing up a nice part-time or even full-time income from your music. There's actually seven steps to this process that you want to master in order to grow a full-time income from your music. And you can find out what those seven steps are and how you can go about mastering them by grabbing my free fan building formula guide in the description below. This will walk you through the whole process that lots of successful indie artists are following in order to actually grow a business from their music. By the way, that guy that I just mentioned is actually my fan magnet for this video for my Orpheus Audio Academy brand because I wanna get you on my email list so I can continue to follow up with you, give you more free content, and also let you know if I you know, ever release a course or release a product that I think could help you even more. All right, so if you found this video helpful, feel free to drop a like, and if you wanna be sure not to miss out on any new videos I release on how to grow your music fan base and your music career, then be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. All right, and let me know in the comments below, do you have an email list yet? And if not, why not? I'm curious to see how many people out there have an email list already and maybe what obstacles are preventing people from signing up. So let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have an awesome day and I'll see you in a future video.